We're in Module 8 now, which is all about geometry. This is 8.1a, Scale Drawings and Proportional Reasoning. A scale is a ratio between two sets of measurements. A scale drawing is a drawing that uses a scale to make an object smaller than or larger than the actual object. Engineers and designers use scale drawings to show an enlargement of small parts or to make a sketch of an item they will use to make a larger version. Back in 6th grade math, Chapter 6, we learned a ratio is a comparison of two quantities by division. Here we have 2 to 1, or we could write 2 to 1 with the line of the fraction bar as 2. It would be like giving two apples to each horse. We could write 1 to 6, or a 1 to 6. That would be 1 inch to 6 feet. A proportion is an equation that states that two ratios are equivalent. We learned this back in Module 4 in 7th grade math. So we have a proportion of 1 half is equal to 2 fourths. They're in proportion to each other. Let's take a look at this drawing. This is a blueprint. It's very detailed. It tells you all the measurements of the part of the building they're trying to build. It tells you where electrical outlets are. It, these are closet doors, these zigzags. We can see the walls. It tells you where the windows are. Here's a closet. Here's another closet. Here's a floor register for heating where the heat comes up out of the floor. A blueprint is a technical drawing that usually displays architectural plans. Plumbers, carpenters, electricians, and other trades use blueprints to build a structure. Engineers and architects draw blueprints to show measurements and the parts of their design. So we have a blueprint. Here we have a floor plan. A floor plan has less detail than a blueprint, and floor plans are useful for decorating and furnishing homes or offices. Dave's blueprint shows the layout of a house. The table shows how the actual length in the house are related to the lengths in Dave's blueprint. So here are the blueprint length in inches. You can see we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and it's in relation to the actual length in feet of the house after it's built. So 4 inches on the blueprint would be 2 feet in the actual length of the house once it's built. And if we take these numbers and multiply them by 2, we get these numbers. And if we take these numbers and multiply them by 3, we get these numbers. Do you see that? 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 5 is 20. And 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. Do you see what's happening? Each can be written as actual feet over the blueprint in inches. We can flip these around. We use the rates of actual length to blueprint length in the table to explain why the relationship between the two types of length are proportional. The rates are all the same. So here the blueprint is on top and the actual length is on the bottom. It wants us to go actual length to blueprint length. That means actual is going to be on the top two blueprint length on the bottom. So we're going to do two feet to four inches. We flipped it around, see that? Four feet to eight inches. Six feet to 12 inches. Eight feet to 16 inches. And 10 feet to 20 inches. We're showing the actual length to the blueprint length. And they are all in proportion to each other. We can show how to use proportional reasoning to find the unit rate. We have the actual length over the blueprint length. Remember, we flipped them around from the table. We have 2 feet to 4 inches. If we divide 2 feet by 4, we're going to get a half foot. We could even write this as 0 0.5 feet, couldn't we? Because that would be a half. We could use a decimal. And 4 inches divided by 4 is 1 inch. We want a denominator of 1, and 
we divided it by this 4. That's why there's a 4 here, because we're dividing it by this 4 so that we get 4 divided by 4 to get a 1 as our denominator. We can write an equation for the relationship where x is blueprint length in inches and y is actual length in feet. We can use the equation to find the actual length from a blueprint length of 18 inches. So we use y, that's the actual length, is equal to half x. It's equal to half whatever the blueprint length is. We substitute 18 for x and then solve it. 18 times 1 half is 9. That would be 9 feet. 18 inches of blueprint length is 9 feet of actual length. Using the equation y is equal to half x, we found that an 18 inch blueprint length is 9 feet in actual length. Is our answer reasonable? Well, in the table, 18 inches is slightly more than 16 inches. So the actual length should be slightly more than 8 feet. We get 18 inches to 9 feet. That would go right in between here. There's a difference of 4 between 16 and 20. If we split that in half to get 18, then we would have to split the difference between 8 and 10 to get a 9. Yes, our answer is reasonable. We can use the same equation to find the blueprint length if the actual length is 6 feet. Before we were given the blueprint length and we had to find the actual length, now we need to find the blueprint length and they're giving us the actual length. So we're using y is equal to 1 half x, we just substitute 6 for y. We know that 6 feet. Now we have 6 is equal to half x. We use the multiplication property of equality to multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of 1 half as 2 over 1. Remember, the reciprocal is the flipped upside down version of the fraction. We multiply both sides by 2 over 1. And on this side, we get 12 over 1, which is 12. And on this side, we get 2 over 2, which is 1. That's 1x. We know 12 is equal to x or x is equal to 12. 6 feet in actual length is 12 inches in blueprint length. If the actual length of the front porch is 12 feet, how long is the front porch on the blueprint? We use proportional reasoning to find the unit rate. We had our actual length over the blueprint length. We know the actual length is 2 feet to a blueprint length of 4 inches. We divided them each by 4 to get 1 for our denominator. We used our equation y is equal to half x. And if the actual length is 12 feet, we put 12 is equal to half x. And we put the 12 in place of y. Then we use the multiplication property of equality to multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of 1 half as 2 over 1. We get 24 over 1, which is 24, and 2 over 2, which is 1. We get 24 is equal to x, or x is equal to 24. On the blueprint, the front porch is 24 inches. We finished 8.1a, we're going to move on to 8.1b, finding length, width, and area to continue learning about similar shapes and scale drawings. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye!